You know, yesterday was a big day for America. Sure was. I turned 18. Well, I was thinking more along the lines of Veterans Day and the anniversary of the end of World War I, but... Oh, there was a parade for me. Nope, that was for the veterans. Huh, ain't that something. Yeah, so let's go to a piece that's looking closer at Veterans Day and what it means to those around us. Thompson Valley High School is proud and honored to have many veterans on its staff. Well, I'm Tony Jean Grasso, and I'm a para here, and I work in Cottage 11 with Mr. Inman, and uh, I was in the United States Marine Corps during the Vietnam War. My name is uh, Steve Burchek, and I'm retired United States Army. I did uh, 22 years in the United States Army. Uh, my name's Brian Rutherford, and I'm with campus security here at Thompson Valley. Um, my military background, uh, I spent six years in the United States Marine Corps. My name is Joe McMahon, I'm campus security. And uh, in the military, I was in military police, military intelligence. Um, in the reserves, I was supply sergeant and in a medical unit. Uh, my name is Ernie Derrera, uh, athletic director, assistant principal here at Thompson Valley High School and I have spent 22 years in the Navy, uh, 12 years of it active duty, and 10 years of it in the Reserve, uh, and again, currently serving in the Reserves. I'm Carrie Duvall, Social Studies teacher here at Thompson Valley High School. I was a Staff Sergeant, uh, Infantry Airborne. Um, my name is uh, Brian Inman. I am a Resource 2 teacher and uh, it's with the Special Ed Department. My name is uh, Mike Miller. I'm an Industrial Technology teacher here at Thompson Valley. Um, I was in the United States Marine Corps from uh, June of 1977 to June of 1980. Uh, my milita military occupational specialty was uh, 2831, which was basically a uh, microwave, microwave radio technician. Uh, my name's Rudy Ibarra. Uh, I've been with the school district for eight and a half years. I'm a day custodian here at Thompson Valley High School. I joined the military in 19. 72, got out in 1983. Uh, my first assignment was uh, I was a tanker. I worked with the M60s, M60A1s, A2s. And then my, when I re-enlisted, I became a helicopter missile repairman. Uh, between 1979 through 82. And <clears throat> then when I got out the second time, active, I went active duty reserves here in Fort Collins. We need to take time out of our uh, daily routine and just think about um, uh, the people who are currently serving um, our country in uh, different um, areas of the military, as well as those who have uh, made the ultimate sacrifice um, in the past in various uh, conflicts and wars that we've uh, fought. Um, and just uh, basically re thank uh, thank those people for uh, their service to our country. Uh, Veterans Day to me means uh, we're safe. Um, a, a lot of veterans have uh, given their lives for us. Um, back, you know, back from the early 1760s, ever since George Washington was here. Uh, Veterans Day is really, is really important to me. Um, just, I don't know, from the military side especially. Um, I've got a lot of friends in the service, um, I've lost some friends overseas, and I mean Veterans Day is just a day when everybody just needs to stop and just thank, you know, thank everybody for what they're doing and just their sacrifice. Recognizing, um, you know, the time that men and women around the country have uh, uh, dedicated to their, uh, their country um, and the many men and, and women that, that laid down their lives to make this country what it is. Veterans Day to me means the sacrifice that um, a lot of people, people before me, people of my time, uh, have given to all of us to be able to um, do the things we do in this country. It's become more um, special to me now. I have two children that are both um, serving our country. And um, so um, it's just one of those things that it's, it's an important day um, for those people who have been veterans. When we came back from 
Desert Shield and Desert Storm. We came, when we came back from Desert Storm and our airplane landed at, uh, we landed at LaGuardia, the runway was literally lined on each side with, with uh, police cars and fire trucks and, and it was really cool. Uh, we also got, before we landed, the pilot got permission to circle us around Manhattan Island and in particular the Statue of Liberty. Now, that might sound corny and hokey, but um, it's a pretty cool sight to fly that close over the Statue of Liberty um, and to get to look at that. And when we stepped off the plane, um, the, uh, uh, that, that little walkway that comes out to the plane that you unload on, on both sides of it were um, police, New York City police and New York City firefighters that were Vietnam vets that didn't get a welcome home. Veterans have sacrificed their lives so that we could be here and literally horse around. You can go to the movies, you could enjoy our way of life, you can get a driver's license, you could walk down the street, you can say just about anything you want. It's all because of the veterans who fought for our rights and our lives to protect our lives. Today's Veterans Day, so we're headed out to the Veterans Day Parade in downtown Loveland, and we're going to be marching in that. It's a great way of obviously recognize our veterans who have uh, served our country. Um, to me, that's, that's just really, really, really important because it's such a great sacrifice to, to fight for our country, and most people just don't understand how much our veterans really give up for us and the things that they fight for. Thank your veterans. Say thank you to a serviceman or a servicewoman uh, who has put their life on the line eventually, whether it's driving a truck of uh, supplies to actually fighting on the ground. They all, it's all one big team. A, a thank you means a lot to, you know, if you, see a, if you see a soldier coming back like in an airport or something, a thank you just that, that really just gives you a big boost, makes you feel like what you're doing is really appreciated. I, I, I believe that the uh, troop support in this country has drastically uh, improved um, since, you know, the 60s when, you know, the, the troops came home and they weren't welcome. I think people have learned um, how important our armed forces are, and I think that uh, for the most part they, they give them the respect. I mean, you hear about people uh, clapping for them in the airports and shaking their hand and, and saying how proud that they are that they're serving our country and um, you know if you see a veteran uh, just thank them. Having somebody say thanks and you're sitting thinking to yourself well, what exactly did I do doesn't matter because they know what you did they know what you were willing to do and that support is pretty amazing. Once again, we would like to thank every veteran for the time that they've served and what they've done for our country. It means a lot. Thank you very much. Well, Eagle Nation, look at the time. It oh. is time that we need to go. Time to go. So we would like to thank you for watching and for all of the hits you've supplied us on YouTube, all 63 of them. 64 now, 64. 64, well I'm Taylor Pappas. And I'm Stephen Williams. Goodbye, Eagle Nation.